Your brain is your body's powerhouse of cognition and is one of the vital organs essential for your survival. But did you know that there are habits that can kill your brain? We're not just talking psychologically, but also physically. Some habits can degrade neurons and worsen communication between them, slowly degrading your brain tissue and making you more susceptible to serious neurodegenerative diseases. Being aware of some of these habits can be helpful in keeping your brain in optimal health. With that said, here are seven harmful habits that kill your brain. Not giving it a challenge. How often do you challenge your mind? Did you know that failing to engage in mentally stimulating activities can lead to decreased cognitive function and memory loss? According to the National Institute of Aging, older adults who participate in mentally stimulating activities such as volunteering or taking an educational course have improved cognitive function compared to those who do not engage in similar activities. Furthermore, according to researchers from the Albert Einstein College of Medicine, engaging in new and mentally stimulating activities in an enriching environment can increase the growth of new neurons in the brain and strengthen existing connections. So try stimulating your brain more often, whether it be by learning something new, playing a game of chess, or reading a good book. It's better than not doing anything at all. Not hydrating. Make sure you stay hydrated is something that you probably hear all the time, but Hydration has its benefits, especially for brain health. According to neurosurgeon, Dr. Imran Fayez, prolonged dehydration can cause your brain to shrink in size and mass, which is a condition common to the elderly who have been dehydrated for many years. Dehydration can also decrease blood flow to the brain, leading to decreased oxygen and nutrient delivery. This can result in reduced brain function and increased risk of developing neurological problems. The brain itself is made up of 85% water, which gives the brain energy to function. Continuously hydrating means that you'll be able to think faster, have better focus and greater clarity. So be sure to keep a water bottle handy and make sure you're hitting hydration targets. A good general amount according to Healthline is to drink eight cups of water daily. You'll be doing a favor for your brain and your body. Not addressing chronic stress. You find yourself pushing away some of your stress without actually addressing it. Work or life just piles up on you and you just shove all of your feelings away. Sound like you? Sometimes you might find yourself so overwhelmed or busy that you forget you're stressed in the moment, not realizing that you're chronically stressed and therefore not addressing it can possibly lead to harmful changes in your brain. According to an article by Dr. Sonia J. Lupien and others at the University of Montreal, Chronic stress can lead to changes in brain structure and function, including decreased brain volume, reduced neuroplasticity, and altered neurotransmitter levels. Chronic stress has also been linked to increased risk of developing mental health problems, such as depression and anxiety. A study published in the Journal of Neuroscience also found that chronic stress can lead to decreased neuroplasticity, which is the ability of the brain to change and adapt in response to new experiences. This can result in decreased cognitive function and increased risk of developing neurological problems. Consuming too much salt. <sighs> salt. Ever get hungry for foods like chips, pizza, steak, and salted nuts? Eating too much salt might actually not be the best for your brain. A 2019 study by a team led by researchers at Will Cornell Medicine found that high levels of dietary salt caused a chemical change to a protein called tau. This change called phosphorylation causes tau to clump together in the brain, which is associated with types of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. Sometimes sustainable diet changes can go a long way in impacting your brain health. Consuming less salt can actually be beneficial by lowering your risk to these neurological diseases. Multitasking. Are you a multitasker and often try to do many things at once? Different people handle multitasking in different ways. While some may have no problem with it, others can find it to be very difficult. Despite the fact that working on multiple things at once can cause the quality of the work to suffer, our growing digital world has made multitasking more prevalent. Studies by Mador and others of Stanford University have shown that multitasking can lead to decreased attention and decreased ability to process information effectively. This can result in decreased cognitive function and an increased risk of poor short-term and long-term memory. Multitasking has also been discussed to have permanent effects on the brain. A study from the University of Sussex performed MRIs on the brains of people who spent time on multiple devices at once. These MRI scans found that those subjects who multitasked had less brain density in their anterior cingulate cortex, the area central for empathy and emotional control. Whenever possible, it's best to try to focus on one thing at a time.
That way your cognitive ability and performance would be enhanced and you'd be able to do things better. Too much screen time. You know that glaring device you seem to have your eyes on all day, all the time? Think about how much you use it. It turns out, according to research by Dr. Gaia Dowling, having too much screen time is not great for your eyes or your brain health. Studies have found that excessive screen time can actually make changes to the brain structure and function. In a study of over 4,000 children who used electronics for more than seven hours a day, the cortex, which is the outer layer of the brain that processes external information, was found to be thinner compared to those who used screens less. While specific outcomes from cortex thinning are not yet known, it goes to show how much screen time can affect one's brain. And decreased cortex sizes are often associated with decreased cognitive function and an increased risk of mental health problems. Slouching, poor posture. Are you hunched over right now watching this video? If you are, maybe try sitting up straight. Poor posture can actually impact brain health because it reduces flow to the brain. According to researchers Garrett, Pearson, and Sabuti at the University of Colorado, when you slouch or hunch over, you compress the veins and arteries that bring blood to the brain, which can lead to decreased oxygen and nutrient delivered to the brain, harming your brain health. Moreover, a study by San Francisco State University examined how students recalled past experiences, good and bad. They were told to recall memories twice, once while slouching and once while sitting up straight. The study found that 86% of the students found it easier to recall negative experiences when slouched. On the other hand, 87% of the students found it easier to recall positive experiences when sitting up straight. So by improving your posture, you might just be doing a favor for your brain and mental health. And there you have it, seven harmful habits that kill your brain. Do you recognize any of these habits? Any of them catch your eye? Recognizing these harmful habits and doing your best to change them can be helpful for your brain health in the future. As always, please remember to like the video, share, comment, and subscribe to Psych2Go for more content like this. See you next time, and thanks for watching.